Let's begin by taking a look at the Sculptress interface. So as we open up Sculptress here, you're going to notice something. It's very, very simple in terms of the interface, especially if you've used something like ZBrush. You know that there's just a lot of options, a lot of places things can live in the interface. And so if you're coming from ZBrush, this is going to be uh, seem very simple. And if you have been someone that's kind of scared of sculpting or a little bit intimidated by the uh, interface, then this is going to be something where you're going to have a lot of success coming in and, and very quickly starting to work because there's not a lot to, uh, to look at here, the interface. So let's go ahead and just start by taking a look at this. You can see our workspace here in the center. We've just got a sphere loaded up here. You can see that we have the view listed here. If we were to kind of rotate around, you can see how that goes away. Okay. If we kind of rotate around and just hit Z, we can snap to different views. And you can see that that's listed down here. We'll talk about navigation in just a second. There's a little quick help uh, text box over here that you can hide with F1 or bring that back. And it'll just give you an indication of some of the hotkeys and controls that you can use uh, within Sculptress. We also have the indication of how many triangles that we're working with. So as you go in and start doing your sculpting and as you start adding uh, and removing geometry, that will automatically update and give you a good indication of the resolution that you're currently working at. Now, if we go up here and look up the top left, you'll see this group of icons, and there's basically kind of three groups and then a single button down at the bottom. Now, the first group up at the top, these nine are going to be your sculpt brushes, and we'll talk more about these individually as we go through this process, but these are going to be the brushes you'll use to sculpt and, and manipulate and move your uh, parts of your mesh around. The next little box is sort of utilities. You can use some of these to reduce uh, resolution in specific areas or across the entire mesh, or you can subdivide your mesh. You can also show wireframe, do some masking, and then there's a symmetry button here as well. That's going to be your second little grouping there. And the last one is going to have to do with adding new geometry to our scene, as well as exporting and importing uh, our geometry, saving uh, our sculpture scene, as well as opening a new scene. And we can also add a uh, sphere and a plane to our scene and start working with those as well. And then the final button is just our Go Z bridge, which will allow us to go really quickly back and forth between ZBrush as we work here in Sculptress. Now up at the top, you'll see that we have an indicator here for whatever sculpt brush we happen to have selected. And then we have some of our brush uh, controls over here to the right. You can see we've got an option for lazy. And on the, uh, this is just kind of like a lazy mouse in ZBrush. It, it evens out our stroke. And you can see for these controls, we actually just click on the text to turn those on and off, okay? We also have the ability to change the size with a slider here, okay? So that's changing the size of your brush. We'll talk more about these uh, brush controls a little bit later, but you can also change the strength. Moving to the right, we have buttons for the uh, whether these settings are sensitive to pen pressure if you're using a tablet. We have an, uh, a button for options, so uh, we can open up options and there are different options that we can use here say OK to that and bring that up with this button. This is going to be a very important slider. We'll talk about that later. It has to do with a dynamic tessellation that's going to happen as we do our sculpting. But again, we'll touch on that in a, a few lessons away. The next uh, thing that we come to over here is the uh, brush icon. And here we can sort of add an alpha or texture to our brush to you know, get different effects. Uh, for instance, if you don't want just a simple stroke, you want something that is uh, using a different kind of a brush stroke, you, you want to get, uh, I don't know, brick or a, or a dirty kind of a pattern to kind of break things up, you can click on this, go ahead and click new, and you can add your own images to that. Okay, and on to the right of that, and there's also a button under here for enabling that, by the way. To the right of that, you have a material uh, icon here. You can choose, click on this to choose different materials, and that will be reflected on your geometry. And you could add new materials in here as well. And then to the right of that, we have one big button for paint. So when we're done sculpting, we're going to hit this and we're going to go into paint mode. So there's basically two really separate modes here in Sculptress. Uh, our sculpt mode here, where we can do our sculpting of our geometry. And then once we're done with that, we can go into paint mode and we can paint a, a UV-based texture for our geometry. Now here in our uh, in our workspace, it's going to, by default, have the ZBrush navigation on. So um, I can click here 
in the workspace with my left mouse button and I can rotate around to look around the model and you can kind of see by that symmetry line how it's rotating. Okay, if I hit Alt and hold that down while I move around, I can, you can see move the model. So with Alt held down, I can move it, let go of Alt, I can rotate around. Now, if I hold down Alt and I'm moving around and I release Alt without releasing the mouse button, this will enable the, me to move in and out. Okay. So that's how we can kind of get around. There's also, uh, you can use the right mouse button as well. And then you can also, uh, if you go into options, there's also, uh, you have the ability to actually use uh, traditional Sculptress navigation. So if you've used Sculptress before and you want to turn that back on, uh, the navigation for Sculptress, you can do that. Okay, so like I said, it's a pretty straightforward interface and something that's going to be really nice if you're just getting into sculpting and or, or just getting into Sculptress even. It's going to be really a quick uh, turnaround for you to start to get some sculpt going on, some sculpts going on in here uh, because it's really, really easy to use. So the next thing that we want to look at is uh, we'll take a look at some of the different sculpt brushes that we can use. We'll talk about some of the options that we have and how to access those options as we begin sculpting here in Sculptress.